so it's been a while since I've been back at university but today I wanted to show you around my Japanese university it was one of the best times of my life when I did exchange here so I'm gonna show you my university so come with me this is where I normally get my exercise when I go to school because you've got this huge like all these stairs to climb up before you actually reach class so today I will show you guys just the main parts of the university and this is Mita Campus, one of the six major campuses of Keio University. So when you enter the main gate, this is the building you will see. It's the New South building, so let's go inside. <laughs> this is the electronic notice board for this building and you can check things such as cancel classes. So let's go inside and see the main things of this building. Since I graduated, I can't actually attend the classes, so I'll just pretend I'm sitting in the class from outside. Classes are usually 90 minutes long and they can start from as early as 9am and the latest one being 7.50pm. Level 7, this is my favourite floor. This is a typical place where you see students hanging out during their breaks. <laughs> On the 7th floor, there's also a study area, but not just inside, you have outside as well. A lot of students like to just hang out, study, or even buy food from somewhere and eat it here. Here are group study rooms for students to reserve and use. And this is one of the cafeterias on campus. This cafeteria is more popular amongst girls and serves food like salad, pasta and dessert but I needed something a little bit more manly so I ate at the next cafeteria. And when you first go in you purchase the food from the vending machine and for a meal the average is 500 yen then you take the ticket to the counter and collect your food. And this is the IT room where you can use the school's computer. This is another student lounge on the first floor of the building. So this is the school library and I'm not sure if I can still get in with my old ID card but I'm gonna try. So in Japan you need an active ID card for you to just even enter the library and yep my ID didn't work so here are some outside shots. Like a stalker! And now we are in front of the old school library. So they don't actually use this library anymore, but they still have it here. And right next to the old school library is the founder of Keio University. His name is Kuzawa Yukichi, and he is the founder of Keio University. And I just so happened to have a 10,000 yen note in my bag, and that's him on the note. So behind me is the West School building and it's basically got classrooms and a big hall and also the school cafeteria. Yeah, it's locked, it's locked. So we can't go inside but it's just a hall. And over here is the main bulletin board so you can get all the notices and everything here. These notices are all sorted into faculties and here is the international one. And here's a notice about my university in New Zealand. This is the main cafeteria where students eat and it's really cheap. It serves Japanese food like these small side dishes, fish and fried food, ramen, and of course curry and pork on rice and that's what I got. This is what the cafeteria looks like when you go in. You first have to wash your hands and then grab a tray and then order and then you pay for your food at the counter. I'm gonna wash your hands. I'm gonna order now. Oh, 
So you can pick up these already made ones and put it on your plate. And of course I had to get my favourite tonjiru soup. If you guys haven't tried it, definitely try it out. And all of this was under 500 yen. After you've finished eating, you have to return your trays and separate the cutlery. Right now, I'm outside the university shop and it sells lots of things like food and stationery and books and clothes and the, also the KO uniform, the KO, um, what's it called? And it sounds just a lot of things, so let's go inside and see what it looks like. It's kind of like an on-campus convenience shop. Japanese universities generally don't have cafes or other shops on campus. A lot of students buy food and snacks here and bring it back to the student lounges to eat there. Right behind me is the first school building and it's just full of classrooms. I used this building a lot when I was doing exchange here. A lot of my classes were in here and I'll show you what the classes are like. And actually right beside this building are ATMs. These are the hallways to the classroom and it feels so nostalgic being here. So these are what the classrooms look like in Japan. So I'm going to go interview some students on campus to ask them what their university life is like and I've got a friend joining me today who also did an exchange in KO a few years ago so yay! Hello. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Haruka. Haruka, nice yeah. You. So you did like a one, one year exchange here? Yeah, so I was, I was actually here for two semesters. Um, I think I just miss you. So you were you were there yeah. the semester before I joined. Well, any of you guys who are thinking of going on exchange, I really recommend it because I think it's just it's a really good opportunity for you to experience new things and mm. get out of your comfort zone. And especially with Japanese universities, I think it's a bit different uh, to the West. It's very hard to get in, but once they get in, it's it's a lot of freedom, a lot of lot of fun, a lot of uh, doing circles and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people will be doing. Like they'll be really busy with their circles and clubs and part-time jobs. It's a really uh, big culture here for university students, I think. Yeah, yeah. So let's go ask. Yeah, let's go. ずっともうサークルサークルサークルでまあちょっと勉強の方はまあまあまあやってました。まあ勉強が好きだからお互いに面々なんですね。そうそう面々。塾の先生のアドバイス。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> In my spare time, I often went with some friends to a pub next to the university, uh -huh. like this Japanese style pub, Izakaya. Uh -huh. Well, I'm job hunting. Okay. So, uh, I use most of my time writing this entry sheet. そうですね。休憩時間とかが日も毎週毎日なくてるので、まあ、小学期とか、あったりもするんですけど、なので結構バイトに咲く時間は多いですね。はい。ここに呼吸術がない人が多く使って、1日やってることが多いかもしれないです
Zedong well, well Zedong speak a lot and talk a lot, chat a lot during class. And likewise, like teachers are very uh, classic. I mean, they, they stay near the blackboard and they just talk and show the presentation. And in France, usually there's um, maybe more interaction. Since I'm Korean, I'm actually a part of Korean community here. I was pretty surprised that they actually had a lot of international um, socializing groups. I've been to a few dinners from uh, the Pokoyo, which is an association for international students. But that's it. I went to two circles so far, and like I've been to the soccer circle, mm -hmm. but. So far, I didn't decide whether I will actually join it. Mm -hmm. I just tried to figure it out because it's like time consuming. Yeah. But it's really fun. I knew that it's a, since it's a Japanese school, there might not be so international atmosphere here, but actually, it was quite different from what I expected. In Wita campus, there are many um, foreign students who came to study Japanese and also came to experience Japanese um, culture. and. Very nice to see them here and socialize with them. And the last thing I wanted to show you guys was the East Gate building, a very historical building. So I hope you guys have learned something new in the video and comment down below if you guys have any questions about Japanese university, Japanese university life, or just anything to do with exchange.